We're going over how to check the refrigerant charge level on a single stage air conditioning or heat pump system equipped with R32. Basically, you want to check to make sure that you have a thermostatic expansion valve or an EEV at the indoor coil. We're going to be measuring the subcoin method, which is measured on the small liquid line during air conditioning mode. So in this example, the R32 system on the blue vapor gauge has a pressure of 116.3. We convert that to a saturated temperature of 38 degrees. So we know that the temperature of the refrigerant flowing through that coil is above 32 degrees, so it's not going to allow any humidity from the air crossing the coil to freeze onto the coil, so we're good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the liquid line. And so the liquid pressure is 374.9, and that converts to a saturated temperature of 110. And so we also have a temperature measurement on the liquid line, and we're measuring 100 degrees. So we take 110 minus 100, and that's 10 degrees of subcooling. On the rating plate of this outdoor air conditioning system, it says that the target subcooling is 11 degrees. So since we're within, say, plus or minus 3 degrees of the target, that means that we are accurately charged. If we had maybe, say, 17 degrees of subcooling when the target was 11, that would mean that we're overcharged. And if we had, say, 5 or 4 degrees of subcooling, then that would mean that we are undercharged. We need more refrigerant in order to fill the saturated refrigerant area in that outdoor unit. And if you want to learn more about checking the refrigerant charge and charging, make sure to check out our new second edition Refrigerant Charging a Service Procedures for Air Conditioning book available over on Amazon and at acservicetech.com.